Good evening again. Did you pick up some more silver? Yes, I did. The price dropped to $28, so I decided to back up the truck. Smashing. It may not be long before the price goes to $50 or higher, considering how much of it is being unmined every year. Unmined? What do you mean by that? Let me ask you a question. Do you know what mining is? Well, yes, I think so. Mining is the act of gathering metal from below the ground. Okay. And can you just go out to your backyard and mine gold or silver? Well, no. You have to find a mine first. And why is a mine better than your backyard? Because mines are where concentrated supplies of metal ore have been found in sufficient quantities to allow for profitable mining operations. I see. So successful mining has two requirements. A concentrated supply of ore, and a large amount of earth to be dug up? Correct. So what do you supposing and mining would be? I guess it would be the opposite of mining. And would you describe that? And mining would be the burying of a metal in unconcentrated amounts. Correct. Do you know how much gold is mined every year? I believe around 50 million ounces. Correct. And how much gold is unmined every year? Well, unless it gets buried and lost, which is unlikely because it is so valuable, I would say zero. Correct. And how much silver is mined every year? I believe around 700 million ounces. Close enough. And how much is being in mined every year? How would I determine that? Well, do you know how much is used every year for high-tech industry? I believe high-tech industry uses around 500 million ounces every year. And what happens to that silver? It is used in tiny amounts in every electronic device. And what happens to those devices? Well, I suppose after they break, they are thrown away and dumped into landfills. And are those landfills all located together? No. They are scattered all over the world. And do they recover any of that silver before they dump those devices into landfills? No. Why not? Because the amount of silver per device is so tiny, and the price of silver is so low, it is not worth the effort. So what you are telling me is, that roughly 500 million ounces of silver is used every year in tiny amounts for high-tech gadgets? Yes. And when those gadgets break, they are tossed out as rubbish and the silver in them is lost? Yes. And that silver is not recycled, because it is too difficult, and the price of silver is too low? Yes. And therefore it ends up being buried all over the world in unrecoverable amounts? Correct. So could you not say that all of that silver is being unmined? Yes. You could. So every year, that the world mines 50 million ounces of gold, it also unmines 500 million ounces of silver? Yes. So for every one ounce of gold being preserved, 10 ounces of silver are destroyed? Yes. And how much longer do you think that can go on? I don't know. But for it to stop, the price of silver must go much, much higher. And if it doesn't, then there won't be any silver left at all. Okay. So then what are you going to do about it? I am going to run, not walk, down to the coin store and buy as much physical silver as I can afford. Excellent. Goodbye.